It's time to win the souls of the world. I want you to join with Jehovah, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and I. Amen. Join with the Godhead to see the latter rain hit the world. That's what time it is. That's what time it is. And so I want you to know I invite you. I welcome you. I don't want to see any lost soul miss it. God has sent me to have this conference so that it will save your soul. You say when you hang out with me because of who I'm connected to, it's expensive to hang around me. Uh-oh. I'm not a cheap, thrifty shop. I have wealth all around me coming out of me constantly. Amen, hallelujah. And you got to read my book to get the rest of that. If I make you mad, then that means you got a devil anyway. Yeah. That's why I'm talking to you boldly. If you do not repent, and I'm talking to every pastor out there, and uh, all these, if you're a traitor against me or whatever, <clears throat> make sure you forward this to them. Or if you're a friend, do it both. But I want you to send it to every pastor. I want to send this to every pastor. If you turn away people from seeing Jesus face to face by speaking evil of me or making it like that, trying to make it look like it's about me because you know it's really not about me I never made my ministry about me it's never about me it's about Jesus you're going to give an account for turning people away for the very reason why they come to your church they're coming for Jesus and not for you idiot and when you do foolishness like that God is going to get your butt you're going to get gotten you got me no I'm not a regular pastor so don't even try to judge me. Well, uh, he, look at the way he's talking. He's not even talking right. Screw you. The August 2017 Crusade Against Cancer with David E. Taylor. This is the year of cancer eradication. Aired live to over 3 billion people. Thousands gathered from over 50 nations across the world to experience God's power. a cloud over this section. We've been fighting the demonic power of cancer. And it's expensive to hang around me. Uh-oh. So quit believing those scriptures that the preachers are putting down your, 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 your throat. You're still preaching that Old Testament stuff that no man can see God and live. That's wrong. If you notice all this Me Too movement, everything is going toward the woman. The woman is running everything. This is wrong. And I'm not a male chauvinist. Run you. You're supposed to be the man of the house. You're supposed to be the king, the Lord. To her. Some of the women say, I don't want to marry him. Yeah, you sure don't. God tells us to go to insects to hear his voice. You need to get out of this sweet, weak, penny, thong wearing Christianity. So God is not just a God. He got other gods under him. When it says he's the God of all gods, little g, it's not talking about statues. It's talking about us. Y'all missed that. And some of you just had your feelings hurt and you all messed up already. You are such an idiot. You ain't even been slain. Nothing has really been taken from you. Shows how weak you are. How are you doing out there in St. Louis? I'm going to tell you something. Jesus Christ is the greatest man that you ever heard about. I'm going to tell you something. There's no man that has ever made history like he has. Not Alexander the Great, not John Henry, no one. Jesus Christ is the same today as he was then, today, and forevermore. And he's not history. He's now. Hallelujah. Glory to God.